Hey, morning guys, SD here. Uh, day two, testing the 15T out on the uh, hydrogen uh, wet cell. Uh, right now, we just got the uh, positive and negative leads hooked to the uh, positive and negative of the cell. It's acting like a uh, capacitor. And we're getting 1.38 right now. I had to change out the wires uh, that would go up to the cell and to the positive connection on the uh, run battery because uh, previous test uh, it couldn't handle the amps and that was this thinner wire here it's like a uh, wire you'd use to run tail lights on a trailer and stuff like that so it needs to be a little bit heavier uh, it actually just cooked it so we switched out to number 12 and we're going to try to do this same test again uh, right now currently we're sitting here using a uh, uh, 2k pot 100 ohm resistor we haven't bypassed um, the pot yet. Go ahead and turn it on and see what we've got here. We've got the uh, meter hooked up so we can measure the hertz. Let's fire it up, see what we got. It's reading 2.2 uh, and fluctuating on the that part of the scale there. And we're getting almost 2 amp draw. Voltage is increased at the positive and negative cell reading at 4.2. 1, 1 to 4.2, 4 4.30. No output right now. Okay. Now what we're going to do, I've got a 5 watt, a 56 ohm uh, resistor here. We're going to clip that and bypass the pot. Watch what the uh, frequency reading goes to. 1.436. Amp draw went up almost to 6. Voltage reading at the cell at 5.91, and we're just about ready to start getting some uh, output. You see the uh, gas pushing the water raised up inside the uh, bubbler line there. We'll let this go for just a little bit. starting to get a little little bit of output from the cell. Now I noticed when I still had the thinner gauge wire here and I was running this uh, with the previous test the uh, amp draw uh, only came up to about maybe four using this same uh, 56 ohm resistor. The re resistor itself is going to start getting a little warm. Uh, we're going to go down to a lower resistor. What I've got for the test here I've got a uh, 5 watt 3.9 5 watt 2.2 and a 5, pot, uh, five watt uh, 1.5. Uh, I've got a 0 0.05 here somewhere, just haven't been able to find it. So, still sitting right at uh, 6 amps, 5.98. Uh, measured right at the cell. I know it's kind of hard to measure a pulse, but that's what we're getting. And we're getting a little bit of input frequency stable at 1.438 hertz okay so let's switch this one off go to the next one which is a 3.9 and you'll hear the difference in the oscillation of the solid state 56 ohm resistor is already getting a little warm all right here we're getting ready to hook it up frequency went to 0 0.712 Amp draw went to almost 22, voltage at the cell went to 7.93, and you can see the difference in the output. Considerably a lot more. Now I'll start running some uh, temperature checks. Coil is 97, transistors 94. 93, 94, 96, 94, that coil, 96 near the coil, 93. Frequency still fluctuating between 7.7, 7.8. Voltage 7.59, measured at the top of the cell, positive and negative connections. 
amp drive settled back down to uh, let's say about 21 amps right now. I'm check these lines here, see if anything's getting warm. Nothing here. Nothing here. Much better. Okay, I might have to change some of these other lines out and go to a heavier one when we start pushing this thing. I'm not really even pushing it yet. 15 transistors running the hydrogen cell, wet cell. It's got 15 plates in it. Center one is positive. Two outside ones are negative, and uh, the rest of them are neutral plates, spaced about uh, about a sixteenth apart. Frequency still holding at 7.05, 7.06, 7 see what the cell temperature is, 80, 80. outside air temperature is right about 80 right now. So she's looking good. Still not a big heat issue. Decent output. <coughs> Friend Daryl is in the in the site there. He brought over a, a dry cell. Uh, when he gets a chance, we're going to come over here and do some extensive testing between the two. Try a different couple of things. Uh, again, I got to uh, change a lot of this wire out that you see on the uh, solid state and go to a heavier, so I don't have any weak links in it and probably use uh, number 12 stranded and rework all the connections on there and we're going to see what this little puppy will do the voltage is sitting at 7.42 7.41 on the cell output's not too bad using the old uh, deep cycle uh, battery I got off that uh, gate opener it went to the horse wrench and it's being backed up with a little Harbor Freight uh, charger Again, we're at uh, about 21 amps. Okay, let's switch off. See if this got warm at all. Yeah, it definitely got hot. So let me take that puppy off of there. That resistor got hot. You didn't even want to touch it. So we've got to play around with some resistance and see what's going on here. So we'll progress down to the next step there and see what we can come up with. We'll post this on the uh, site and see what you guys think.